Shaolin Monks is a unique and incredible Mortal Kombat experience. Casually, the game is a blast to play through. Competitively, the speedruns do have a bit to offer. The any percent and all medallions, out of bounds, and infinite kick are two such categories that are made possible by a particular glitch. This video will cover that glitch and where it can be used. The infinite kick trick is an exploit performable by Kung Lao. This trick comes in three major variations. The first variation is a beginner trick that has more room for error. To perform this trick, simply jump, and while in the air, perform an air up kick by pressing triangle. Then follow this up by pressing the power attack button, circle. While in the power attack animation, hit select. This pause resets Kung Lao's cooldowns of using his attacks in the air, allowing him to continue the loop again. The second variation is much faster. The loop starts the same. Jump, up kick, but instead of power attacking, we are instead going to quick attack with square. The difference with this variation is that the select pause has to be executed much faster. Quickly pause and then continue the loop. This variation is much quicker than the power attack variation. The third variation is used for a quick burst in movement. Start the loop the same. Jump, up kick, but instead we swap the third input with an air grab with R2. This will launch Kung Lao forward. This variation is not infinite, however, as the air grab's animation has an uncancelable drop at the end. This trick is used to great effect in one particular part we can get to later on. Now that we can perform the trick in the air, we can learn how to get under the map. To use the infinite kick to get into the map, we must first utilize the power attack variation of the trick, perform a small hop, and wait until Kung Lao's feet are almost touching the ground, then up kick. Now we have to wait again for Kung Lao's feet to almost be touching the ground again, and then power attack and pause with select. If timed correctly, Kung Lao will be pushed down slightly, and the floor will force him below the map. Now that we are under the map, we can move around using either the first or second variation of the infinite kick trick. Now that we know how to perform the trick, we can focus on where to use it. The first opportunity is in the first room of the run. The first step is to clip out of bounds. I find that positioning myself against an object helps push Kung Lao down further. Once you're under the map, simply flip to the top of the exit at the end. <laughs> The second opportunity is at Wu Shi Academy in the second zone. Position yourself facing the slope of the archway and clip underneath. Careful of the tar cottons here that can be jerks. <laughs> Once you're at this point, we want to use the air grab variation of the infinite kick loop to push Kung Lao forward and through the floor at this slope. The next skip we have access to is Soul Tombs. By clipping out of bounds and kicking to Baraka's entrance, we can skip the entirety of this area. Wasteland also sports a skip by bypassing the Elemental Knight pole section of the game. This skip requires kicking over the wall surrounding the exit maneuvering to the back and landing at this spot. Next, we kick under the platform and into the exit. Foundry skip is what allows the any percent category to be ran in the first place, and it's pretty simple. Clip under the map and kick to the portal. The only catch is that you have to input two drop kicks into the loop at some point. Otherwise, Kung Lao is too high to hit the portal trigger. Drop kicks can be done by excluding an input after the up kick in the infinite kick combo. Axe skip is the last skip in the run. Simply clip under the floor in this room and kick to the back where the molten tunnel is. You can stand on the tunnel and from here you can kick up and into the back entrance of the axe room. And there you have it, the infinite kick glitch for Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks. Thanks for watching everyone.